time to take a walk back in time. We are opening the Fox and News Vault, this time going back to February 1976 when 10 tons of marijuana was seized. Bill Capo reports. Federal, state, and local agents boarded this Panamanian freighter near Bayou La Battery January 29th, confiscating 10 tons of marijuana and arresting 18 people. The marijuana was destroyed the next day, but Channel 10 heard the prisoners were still in jail, had no lawyer, no money to make bail, nor even an interpreter since they don't speak English. A call to the Mobile City Jail confirmed 13 of the 18 were still in prison. When we got there, though, court-appointed attorney Desmond Toller and an interpreter were talking with the prisoners, and he described conditions in the jail after his visit. Bill, the seamen, there's 10 of them in one, one cell at the present time. It's in a cell that's designed for uh, 10 persons. Uh, they're, in my opinion, are being treated uh, very well. And the problems of communication are being worked out very well. We've got no complaints uh, with any of the authorities at all uh, at this point. Though we were not allowed to shoot film, our crew visited their cell to confirm the story. Attorney Toller said the five Americans arrested had already made the $75,000 each bond, leaving only the 13 Colombian nationals in the jail. Their case has been given to a federal grand jury, which has not acted on it yet. Toller said he would base his defense on statements by the Colombians, who said they were hired before the marijuana was picked up and then told to help ship it or be shot. This is Bill Capo, Channel 10 Newsbeat.